Hello everybody. Um, in this video we are continuing the uh, display functions uh, that we use to display texts to the users uh, in programs and in file. And in the last video we saw um, how we can use the display uh, disp and input functions and we found or, or knew the differences between them and if you remember in the last video we had some issues with using the display function um, some issues with uh, using the function to um, go to the next uh, line uh, so we had to display or, or write the function for the next line and then repeat the function for the text that you're writing in the next line so it's kind of tedious thing uh, we had a problem with displaying uh, numbers with um, uh, with text, uh, so strings and numbers in the same uh, in the same function, um, and in formatting the numbers in the uh, display function. Um, so to to see the the uh, the option in the if printf function which are we are using today and how we can get all these problems solved. Um, let's first define any uh, thing, let's say h equals uh, thousand and uh, t equals this is a text, um, just any string. And let's see if um, if I use the fprintf function in its simplest way. So I can type fprintf and then between brackets I type the string so what will happen is that it's typing the uh, the string that I'm typing I can I can, um, I can type it the the same way I use with display function um, so it, it's doing the same the same thing so we can either um, define this as um, um, a variable or a text as a variable uh, or put the text as it is in the fprintf function uh, so this is the simplest way of using the fprintf function um, and actually it's not the, the, the way we use it. Uh, there are much more things we can do with it other than that. Um, the first thing we need to learn about it is what we call the escape characters. So escape characters are just some symbols that you can use um, that have some functions uh, uh, in the fprintf function. So, for instance, if you want to go to the next line, you can type backslash n or backslash r. Um, you can add tab, which is like a long space between two um, words or any two characters by, by typing a backslash t. Um, if you want to type percent, you will by type two percents and then backslash will be two backslashes. Uh, so let's let's see if I um, do the same thing here, but instead of, of typing it like this, I will use the escape character. So I would do uh, backslash n here and backslash n here. And as you see, this is totally different from what we saw here. In this case, we we had the, the output written in a line and the, the same line would be the starting of the next order. Uh, while here you, ca you can see you had some spaces or, or one line before and after. You can add more than one line um, like like this. You can add as many lines as you can. And um, you can add tabs as like this. This is a text. So when I press tab, I will uh, put two tabs to make it clear. And then I can type anything. Um, uh, this is a text. So I'm typing it twice. So you see it's it's typing the same function twice or the same text twice with the spacing in between because I have these two tabs. So it's, it's pretty pretty much better than what we used to do before. If you want to do the same, this thing uh, or, the, or this order using the display function you would have one display for this, one display for this and one display for this and we don't have the option of, of adding the tabs in, in display function or this function. Um, so this is this is way way more better. Um, this is the first uh, advantage of using the fprintf function. The other thing is that you can put numbers um, and format them the way you want. And to format them, you you must use the um, the the standard number format uh, shape like the, the what we see here. So it depends, or, or, or it contains first percent. So when you type percent, you would uh, tell MATLAB that you are entering a number. And then how many decimal places in 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 the the, the total uh, number that you're displaying, 
and and then uh, or how many how many digits uh, or or how many characters in the uh, in the number and then how many decimal places you would have after the dot and how the number would look like so so examples of this is that if you put percent f it will be fixed point notation which is something like this if you put percent e it's exponential which we call in excel uh, scientific um, percent g is like this but it doesn't display zeros if you have any zeros after the, uh, at the end of the of, of the number after the point uh, it's not going to display them um, you have E, it will be uh, uppercase E instead of the lowercase E here, the same thing like G. Um, and there are some uh, stuff like this for the characters. If you have a character like uh, the T that we displayed before, you can put it like this, at uh, percent S or percent C. Uh, so to understand this more, let's, uh, let's go back to... Um, where was I? Uh, yeah, um, to MATLAB, and then see how we can type this. We have we have H. I, I would display, um, define another uh, variable uh, or another number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just to to have it, uh, a very big number, uh, and we can we can test it. So I I will print uh, if or type if print if, and then. Um, the way we, we use if print if for numbers is that you type the number from it between these uh, inverted commas uh, or apostrophes. Uh, so, so you have to write this first and then uh, tell MATLAB what number are you displaying. Um, so I would uh, uh, I would put the format, it first starts with percent. Uh, it will uh, be how many digits you will display. I will display, let's say, five and then two after the decimal place and e which is going to be exponential um, and uh, or, or or the scientific way of displaying the the number and then i will tell it this is number um, in the variable i so when you display it, it's 1.23 multiplied by temperate let's say i would make it 0.3 so it's adding one more decimal place here if you want to make it four it will be one more decimal place here. Uh, the cool thing now is that you can put the uh, escape characters with the numbers. So I can type it like this <coughs> and like this. MATLAB understands that this is what you want to display. You can add text. So for instance, I can say the um, uh, the the cost is. Um, dollar sign for instance um, ah, I had this here I shouldn't have put this here okay so it needs a little bit of tweaking oh okay so <coughs> so as you see here I had this the cost is which is what I had here the the the, the number is is put the same way I wanted to display Let, let's try one other thing um, let's make it E, the uppercase E, you'd see it is getting the uppercase E like what we said here. Um, let's say we will try the F or the G, let's try the F. Uh, and you see here it's displaying the whole, the whole number as, as a number, not, not the scientific way. And then you have four decimal places because you have it here. Um, you can try G. Um, so it's it's almost the same as as um, the um, uh, the e, okay. So it's it's pretty pretty nice. You can add text and number without having to put the the matrix and then put everything and number to <coughs> the number uh, to string and all these kind of stuff. You don't need to to go through all these with just by using the fprintf function. Um, and let's say I want to put um, I I have um, uh, um, a text for instance y equals a uh, car um, for instance this is what I, I want to put and I want to display text the cost of the car is this number so uh, I, I would use the if printf function the cost uh, of the car and I want to get it from this uh, variable and to do this it was percent and uh, s uh, this is this is the character uh, insertion, okay. Um, and then the, the the thing that you need to keep in mind is that you have to put the 
variables here in this in the sequence by which it appeared in uh, between the 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 uh, inverted commas. So you have this first and then the other one. So you have to put y and then i. So now it displays the cost of the car is whatever the number I I, I want. Um, so it's it's uh, very very nice. You can add as many variables as you want, as long as you are keeping the sequence here as the sequence here, you are good to go. Um, if for instance you made a mistake and displayed it the other way or put them the other way, it should give you some weird stuff. Uh, so you see, it's giving you this and then this. So um, it's it's kind of some weird things um, that that will show up because it's it's not the right way. Uh, however, if you return it back, it's, it's going to show you the, the shape that you want. Um, we have here some examples. So I have here, this is the number display for the pi, the 3.14. Uh, you can see it displayed in many ways here, depending on the way you uh, show it. And this is the same thing we mentioned about adding the uh, strings and uh, numbers to, uh, together in, in the same string. Um, and this is all. Um, so we can use the if print fu if function to um, to do tables to make a table um, in MATLAB, um, and and this will be the topic of the next video, inshallah. So I'll see you then.